Pete Bissonette here, President of Learning Strategies, and we are pleased to present Dr. Paul R. Sheely's brand new Prosperity Accelerator video program. Paul is an acclaimed expert in the workings of the genius mind, the inner mind, the non-conscious mind, with impressive practical expertise in neurolinguistic programming, pre-conscious processing, and accelerated learning. His master's is in adult learning, and his doctorate is in leadership and change. The guy's brilliant. He firmly believes that we all have amazing mental capacities that we can access and use to improve any aspect of life. He's focusing here on accelerating your abundance, and it does not matter whether times are great for you and you're looking for something better, or whether times are tough and you're looking for a break, or anything in between. You'll receive tremendous value from this series of videos. Paul is a master, and he's here to share, share, share. Paul will give you tips and techniques you can use immediately. He will lead you through closed-eye visualizations, mini meditations, and drop-ins to help with various aspects of accelerating your prosperity so you see results immediately. And if you use his paraluminal programs, you will learn which ones would best support his prosperity coaching and accelerate your prosperity more easily and more readily. If you know anyone else who might benefit from this series, tell them to go to www.yourprosperityaccelerator.com. That's yourprosperityaccelerator.com. And to help you stay focused on Paul's amazing program, please close out of your email and all social media and put your phone away. You want to get as much from this program as you can. Now here's Paul Shealy with the first episode of Prosperity Accelerator, Your New Life of Success. Hello and welcome to the Prosperity Accelerator. Right now, we are in the Automotorplex of North America, one of the two campuses in Minnesota. This is a fairly recent business, and they call it a place to enjoy your passions. This really is a testimony to not only a person's clarity of vision, the ability to create what they truly want, but it is also a place where your passions are coming through. This is one example of finding your joy, your happiness, your true passion for what it is you're choosing to create in your life. The key to prosperity acceleration really is to be able to create and maintain a habit of expecting the best, no matter what the circumstances are. Whether the times are great for you and you're looking for them to become even better, or the times are tough and you're actually looking for the break. Either way, we have a way to work with each other to get where you want to go. Your prosperity accelerator here is going to be able to apply to you if you're looking for success, wealth, health, great relationships and the time to be able to enjoy them or growing into the full expression of who you are meant to be in this world. So I'd like to ask you, what is your habit of expectation when it comes to prosperity? If a bank sends you a very thin letter in the mail or you receive an email that says urgent, what's your immediate thought? oh boy, they found money that I didn't expect that I had, right? <laughs> yeah, probably not so much, right? What is the habit of expectation for you in terms of your health and well-being at age 80, 90, 100? Do you see yourself practicing yoga or teaching it at age 100, being in the Senior Olympics? It's possible. Why not? But if you don't believe that this is something that you could bring about in your life, why would you even try? In the early days of my life as an entrepreneur, I had a little family of four. I was doing my master's degree in the evening to try to up my career, my marketability. We were living below the poverty line. Just to make ends meet, I was getting help 
for, for uh, my tuition. I was getting help from the county for family welfare. I was getting help from my parents and anyone else who might be able to assist. Years later, the business had grown to be international, selling our products in 185 countries. We had millions of dollars in the bank, and on some days, we'd have $100,000 a day coming in as revenues. When my family grew to a family of five, we were in a very different place. We had financial freedom, we had a great lifestyle, we had our loans paid off, we had no credit card debt. So there's going to be times in our lifetime when our tank is so empty, we're running on fumes, hoping we're gonna coast in to the gas pumps just at the right moment. That's like waiting for the next paycheck to arrive so that you can make ends meet. Has that ever happened to you? Sometimes we're driving cars that we have to hold together with duct tape and wire just to be able to hope it's going to start and get us to our job another day. And sometimes we're cruising down the freeway, tank full of gas, in a beautiful luxury automobile. Times come and they go. They ebb and they flow. There's ups and there's down. The one thing that we know for sure is that the constant in all of this is change. It's the one thing we know is going to occur. So whether times are tumultuous or whether times are easy for you at the core, what we need is the mental, the emotional, the physical resiliency and preparedness so that when opportunities present themselves, we're ready to make the most of them. The skills of the Prosperity Accelerator that we're working on here is so that we can, in fact, take that ride to the promised land, to the destinations that we're choosing to create. And if you study how the universe is actually made up, we're going to discover that abundance is all that there is. Immense power, and power is not ever created or destroyed, it's just changed. And what we know is that if we look around us in our societies today, around the globe, we're experiencing unprecedented abundance. In human history, there have never been these kind of advancements on scientific, intellectual, and social fronts. The global economy is absolutely enormous. And just look at these automobiles as a small little chunk of what it is that human beings have been able to do. You're going to see these are engineering marvels and they're built on the advancements that came before them. If you can conceive it and believe it, you can achieve it. And every one of these had to exist first in consciousness. Then a team had to build them, produce them, market them so that one day people could enjoy and benefit from the use of those products. It's moving from thought to manifestation. It's absolutely spectacular and we're seeing it in every area of human endeavor. But don't get me wrong, there's plenty of problems in the world. I'm not saying that everything's rosy, in fact, far from it. But when we look at the abundance of what is possible, humanity can create a world that works, a world that's socially just, environmentally sustainable, economically sustainable, and spiritually fulfilling for all. Accelerating your prosperity is, a, is in essence, helping you to be able to play your role in creating a brighter future for all of us, for you, for your loved ones, for all of humanity. Prosperity, if we could define it, is your access to the abundance that's all around you and within you. And this program is about growing your access to that abundance, accelerating the expansion of your wealth, your health, your spheres of influence, growing into the full expression of who you are. Over the years, I've seen amazing results from clients who have used these approaches that we're going to be taking together. 
there was a woman who wanted to go back to work. She had raised her children with her husband, and she was ready to enter the workplace. She took a job as an administrative assistant, but pretty soon, by studying the company, reading up on the literature about their industry, she started coming up with ideas that she shared with the higher-ups in the organization. Pretty soon she was promoted in advance to fairly soon she was directing a big international effort for the company, traveling all over the world, enjoying a fabulous income, loving it. She got so busy she said, I can actually do this on my own as a consultant. And she continued to grow her wealth and her passion. There was a man who was released from a job he had poured himself into for more than a decade. And he had to leave under pretty tough circumstances. It was an unfortunate story. But he went on to create his own business. And today, five years into it, he's doing over $30 million in revenues annually and absolutely loving what it is that he does. There is a woman who decided to increase her income this year by $10,000. She set that goal. And within two weeks, she was called into her manager's office and they said, for the first time in many years, we've decided to give our employees an increase in salary. And the one that we've decided to give you is $10,000 this year. <laughs> so literally within two weeks of her conceiving and believing that she was ready to receive that kind of increase, it was already done. Pretty exciting. I've, I've consulted with business people who have removed obstacles, struggles, and setbacks. They've achieved major breakthroughs. They've doubled and tripled their revenues in a year. I've witnessed individuals who have achieved lifelong dreams of positive, loving relationships after many failed relationships. I've seen people who have recovered their health and well-being and absolutely defied medical science. I've also seen people who've completed educational goals that they had always wished for. So I have to ask you, what is it that you desire to achieve in our time together? I want you to think about it because it's time to get moving on it. Your access to the rich abundance that's available to you, your prosperity is going to naturally accelerate when you step out of the limiting assumptions that your analytical mind has maintained. You've got good reason to have limiting thoughts and beliefs, but unless we step out of them, they're gonna dominate and continue to create the future more like the past. We're also going to get beyond the mistaken beliefs and judgments that we may have held that have kept you locked up all of these years. We're going to blow away the fear-based views of what your future might bring and eliminate any shame-based views of who you are that may have come from your past. There are plenty of ways in which you and I have both maintained a negation of the true power and potential that's within us. It's time for us to get on the other side of it and to be able to accelerate our access to the abundance that's all around us at any moment in time. And it doesn't matter where you're starting from. Again, if, you, if you're feeling great and you just want to accelerate the success of a business that's already going or a career that's already on track or a relationship that's great or health that you're enjoying, perfect. We can do that. Also, if you're feeling like you're trapped and you're desperate and you need a way out, the creativity, the innovation, the breakthrough ideas we're going to share here, the processes you're going to be able to take yourself through absolutely on a daily basis will become immediately available to you, making a difference. Now, I've been on both ends of the prosperity spectrum. So together, wherever you are, we're going to figure out a way to get us where we really want to go. 
We're going to focus our sessions on how to tap into what's possible right now and every day from this day forward. We're going to be diving into four major areas. You can think about this mapped on your physical body. We've got your head, your heart, your gut. You could think about this as exploring a mindset, a heart set, which is really about running your emotions, a gut set, which is how your will to succeed comes into the world, and then also your actions or skill sets that are going to be able to channel your best efforts towards the achievement that you desire. Now in this first session we're calling a new life of success, we're going to begin charting your course to the prosperity that you desire. So we're going to begin wherever you are. Right now we're going to move beyond the past into what's truly possible for you. We're going to start right now with a brief exercise called dropping in. I'm going to take a seat because I want to be able to model what this looks like for you. Put your feet on the floor and let your hands rest on your lap. Essentially, we just want to be uninterrupted for a couple of moments. So if you would, just take a deep breath in. And as you exhale, simply close your eyes and become aware of the space your body is occupying. Feel your feet on the floor, your hands on your lap, the support that the chair beneath you is giving you, whether it's touching you on your legs, your rear, your back, just feel the support of it. And imagine that you could relax your shoulders a bit more, just letting them smooth out, letting your shoulders drop a bit. Become aware of the muscles of your face and see if you can relax your forehead, the muscles around your eyes, your cheeks, your jaw. You can notice that your body is breathing you and you might not have noticed it all day long, but right now you can feel that whether you think about it or not, your body breathes you. And if you can get a slight hint of a smile at the corners of your eyes, the corners of your mouth, this actually begins a process of turning on the alpha frequencies of the brain, which is the connection between your conscious mind and the further resources of your non-conscious mind. You've also turned on the parasympathetic nervous system, which is that part of your neurophysiology that lets your body restore, refresh, and re-energize. Now see if you can notice the touch of the breath in your nostrils and actually feel the feeling of the breath flowing out and in, in your nostrils. As you exhale and inhale, see if you could do so, so that the breath is more continuous without any hesitations or pauses or jerks. Just one breath flowing into the next in a smooth, deep and even way. And see if the exhale and the inhale can become of a similar duration, a similar length. Now this simple process of becoming mindfully aware is a process that helps you enter an ideal learning state for any new endeavor you're engaging in. Here you have the ability to accelerate your capacity to take in and use good information that will make a difference in your life. You're choosing to focus on achieving an important goal for you, whether it's in the area of finance, career, success, health, well-being, relationships, or growth, personal, professional, spiritual, you choose, you decide on a goal that we can 
play with, that we can explore and notice improvements on a daily basis in our time together. Now feeling good and continuing to notice the rhythm and flow of the breath in your nostrils, gently open your eyes and return refreshed, alert, feeling great. That's a simple process, takes just a couple of moments. This process of dropping in is a simple process of connecting with the deeper resources that are within you, always available to you. It takes just a few moments to engage in it, and it's going to assist you in connecting with the further resources of your non-conscious mind. Plus this mindful awareness is going to let you sort for the subtle changes that are occurring on an ongoing basis that are indicating movement in the direction of the goals that are important to you. Now, if you'd like to be able to take this process deeper, you can use paraliminals. If you're not familiar with paraliminals, these are recordings that I've made that speak to both sides of your brain simultaneously. And they help you connect with internal resources that are available to you, but maybe not necessarily being used by you on an ongoing basis. So your ability to quickly drop into a place of high creativity, innovation, personal power, the ability to take action. There is a title of a paraliminal recording that may be ideal for you. To develop your capacity, to drop in very quickly and easily, the 10 minute supercharger is fantastic. The, and I recommend that you be able to use that anytime during the day that you wanna take a little break. And also at night, the deep relaxation will actually help you go into a sleep state, being more relaxed and ready to enjoy the true benefits of the sleep that you get. So let's come back to this idea of what is prosperity? Prosperity is your access to this universal abundance that's all around us and within us. Now you can measure your prosperity in any number of ways. For example, if we're looking at, if we're looking at prosperity in terms of financial abundance, you can measure this in any number of ways. For example, if you want to look at your financial abundance, you could look at your income. You could look at your savings. You could look at your investment portfolio, your property, your possessions, your net worth. If you want to look at your success, you could think about your career, your business, your innovations, your creativity, your ability to help others solve the problems that they're contracting you to solve. If you want to measure it in terms of health, we can look at mental health. Can you live with the thoughts that are in your head and do you like yourself? Or emotional health, feelings of inner peace and contentment, gratitude, happiness and joy. We could look at physical health, which would include strength and flexibility, endurance and resiliency. We could look at relationships. We could look at how many friends do you have? How many collaborators do you have on the things that are important to you? Do you have spheres of influence, support networks and supportive communities? Do you have joint venture partners, advisors, coaches, mentors? We could also measure your abundance in terms of your growth. That could be personal growth, professional growth, spiritual growth. Do you have strategies that you can use? Knowledge and skills that are within your acquisition today. Do you have practices that you can engage in that will help you grow? Your habits of expectation that we've talked about. Your learning networks and your communities of practice that might help facilitate your continuing and ongoing development, and your reflection and contemplative practices. Now, all these are potential measures that you can put on the degree to which you're having access to the abundance available to you. But I need to ask you, what area of prosperity are you 
most resonant with right now. And all those things that I just mentioned, what is it that you're most interested in spending our time on that can be your goal for our sessions together? Pick one area in which you would like to experience greater abundance. Again, it could be financial, success, health, relationships, or growth. Be sure to write down what you desire to create for yourself. Write down your goal for prosperity acceleration and how would you measure it? We're going to do another exercise based on that particular goal, the desire you have for an expansion of your prosperity. In order to experience prosperity acceleration, we need to know the target that we're going for. We also need to have access to that heart space so that you can live into that goal achievement wholeheartedly on a daily basis. So we're going to do another drop in and I'm going to guide you through a process of actually transforming your emotional connection to the goal that you have. All right. All right, as we did just a few moments ago, we're going to do another drop in. So if you would, hands on your lap, feet on the floor. Now you could cross your arms and legs, but one of the things that that does is it fires off neural circuitry that isn't necessarily that helpful for accelerated learning. If you keep a more open posture, that's ideal. So, so take a deep breath in and as you exhale, Close your eyes. Again, relax your shoulders. Just let your shoulders drop. As you are more aware of this physical space your body is occupying, you can let the rest of the world outside of you be to itself. Relax your forehead and face. Let your forehead muscles smooth out. Relax around your eyes, your cheeks, your jaw. Get that hint of a smile. The smile actually helps to release neurochemicals that enhance your state. And now notice the touch, the rhythm and flow of your breath and your nostrils. And as you exhale and inhale, allow that breath to flow uninterrupted, smoothly, deeply, evenly. Now bring into mind your goal, a goal that you've selected for our time working together. Think of that goal already being achieved, as if you've already done it, you've accomplished it, it's completed. If it was a health goal, you're already living in that healthy state. If it's a financial goal, you've already accomplished it. You've got that investment. You've got those savings. You've got that income. It's already done. I want you to imagine with that already accomplished, what's even more important to you that you would choose to have or do or be? It's even more important than that goal. What would you choose to do at that point in your life? Who would you choose to be? What else would you choose to accomplish? It's even more important than that. And when you have that in mind, now imagine once again that that's already achieved. You've already accomplished that goal. It's done. It's complete. Both of those goals are handled. Now what would you choose to do or be or have that's even more important than either of those? How would you then choose to live your life?
good. Now imagine that even that's completed. You've achieved that new goal. It's already done. You've completed it. You're living past the successful achievement of that goal. Of course, you feel great. What else now would you choose to do that's more important than any of those three previous goals? How would you choose to live your life at this point? What would you choose to do or be? Who would you be? How would you be feeling? How would you choose to use your life energy now that all three of those are already done and completed? Excellent. Now imagine even that's complete. You've accomplished all of those goals. Who would you now be? How will you now choose to live? What else is even more important than any of those four goals up until now? Now, with your eyes continuing to remain closed, you are getting the pattern of what I'm doing here. I'm having you imagine beyond the successful completion. Now, at some point, you're going to run out of goals. In other words, you're going to say, well, at this point, I would just be fully me. I would just be in a state of complete being, the full expression of why I'm here in this world. And it might take another one or two repetitions of this. But what you're going to discover, again, eyes still closed, and imagining this state right here in your physical body right now, this state of being is not a state of doing. All the previous goals you had to do in order to be this, to be free, to be happy, to be be at peace, to be who you tr truly are. And a state of being is exactly that. It's not a state of doing. So you can choose right now to be this. Whether it's peace, whether it's contentment, whether it's just absolute gratitude, love and happiness or pure passion and joy. Imagine this state is yours because it is a choice to be in this state right now. Now imagine would your previous goal be easier to achieve if you started with this feeling? And would it be easier to achieve the goal before that if you're in this state? And would it be easier to live into and apply yourself and achieve the success of that second goal that, that you had established if you're in this state? And how about the very first goal that you set, the goal that you have established for our time together would it be easier for you to live this week, take action, and accomplish what you desire if right now you allowed yourself this feeling state to be your way of being in the world? And then make it so. Let it be. Maintaining an awareness of the flow of the breath and this lovely feeling within you, gently open your eyes. Now, I have a paraliminal that's really oriented toward this particular way of starting fresh on any new endeavor. It's called Fresh Start. There's another one called Success Built to Last. 
That one is based on the premise of whatever it is you're choosing to do, choose to be really good at it. And that's what I'm asking you to do right now. Be really good at living your life exactly the way you are with these new feeling states helping to guide you to what you're choosing to create. All right, so we've established this notion that abundance is all around us, it's within us. And being in this state of peace, the state of joy, the state of happiness, the state of gratitude or contentment is going to keep all of your sensory systems open. It's going to make it possible for you to see opportunities and possibilities as they present themselves. And this is really how we're going to accelerate prosperity. I call it your heart set. And when you're creating a new life of success, the heart set is going to make all the difference. Begin exactly where you are right now. If you could just let go of feelings of shame, of fear, of worry, of doubt, if you could get rid of all of those emotions that tend to contract you, that feel heavy on your chest and your gut, that those emotions that cause you to withdraw in order to protect yourself. If you can let go of all of that and just be in this state, your future is guaranteed. It's easy to withdraw from our dreams and to become cynical about the future, about your potential, about the economy, about opportunities that haven't been made available to you. It's okay. And you know, I had the same experience when trying to do financial planning years ago. I went to a seminar where all the charts and all the numbers were laid out and I said, okay, take your, your income today and chart it out and see where you're going to be because this, the average growth in income over the years is this. Now we're going to plan your saving strategy and your investment strategy based on that. It made a lot of sense. I went ahead and did that and the next year was an absolute disaster for my business. I cleaned out my savings with a little investment portfolio I had just to keep the business alive. So even the best laid plans can shift around. But if you're not relying on charts and numbers and averages and everybody else, and you're going with your own internal compass, you'll know the best way to proceed. And as our program continues, you're going to find a greater and greater sense of trust and reliance on that inner guidance. I'd like to guide you through an exercise right now. If you had an internal GPS system, you could follow its signal to get you to the destination that you've established for yourself. So I invite you right now just to take a moment and close your eyes and make this statement and feel what happens inside of you, okay? Just become aware of yourself, eyes closed, head to toe, make this statement. I don't have an internal GPS. Notice what just happened in your body. Now, make this statement. I do have an internal GPS. I do have an internal guidance system. Notice what happened there. Now open your eyes. Generally what will happen is a feeling of contraction or expansion and we'll tend to feel that along a midline where all the major nerve ganglion of the body and the nervous system are built. These are the places we feel our emotions. And when we talk about a heart set, we're talking about being able to live wholeheartedly in our life every single day. You have the mechanisms within you to guide you to the fulfillment of your goal. You really do. In fact, and it's been said by philosophers for forever, that you wouldn't even have been able to conceptualize of the goal that you're holding right now if it wasn't already within you to be able to achieve it. 
What we're gonna do right now is we're gonna do a brief meditation to recognize the opening that you've created for yourself just by being here today. An opening that you're stepping into for the fulfillment of your goal. So once again, we're gonna sit down and get into our ideal state for dropping in. Feet on the floor, hands on the lap. Take a deep breath in. As you exhale, close your eyes and go within. With your shoulders relaxed, the muscles of your face smooth and relaxed. Noticing the touch of the breath in your nostrils and allowing it to flow uninterrupted, out and in. Imagine focusing on the area of your heart. And imagine that as you breathe out and as you breathe in, your heart is flowing out into the world and back into you. Imagine that as you exhale, you're sending truth, beauty, and goodness into the world. And as you inhale, you're pulling into you truth, goodness, and beauty. So that each time you exhale and inhale, there is this amazing sense of the rich and vast abundance abundance of love, peace, kindness, forgiveness. Feel yourself with each breath that you're forgiving yourself for every mistaken judgment that you leveled against yourself or others. Anything that you may have shamed yourself for, you just let it go and breathe in the truth of who you are. Magnificent in every way. You are a living miracle. You are sufficient. You are worthy. You are deserving of the goodness in the beauty that the universe is offering you. You were brought here for a reason. This is your time to live into the fullest expression of who you are and as a natural byproduct, enjoying the prosperity that is available to you. all of the peace, all of the contentment, all of the gratefulness, the happiness and joy, the accomplishment of what's important to you. And maintaining an awareness of the flow of this breath, become aware of yourself from head to toe, at a rate that's right for you, gently open your eyes. Good. How did that feel? Prosperity consciousness means that you have access to the time, the energy, the connections, the ideas that you need to create the full expression of your life. Trust your heart. That was really at the core of this session a day. Stay open, expand into the possibilities. Trust that the universe brought you here for an important reason. And between now and the next session, watch for how the universe is always giving you what you need to take the very next small next step in the direction of your goals. 
as you stay vigilant and aware, what you're going to see are what I call small concrete indicators of, ooh, ah, that worked. That was tremendous. Yes. Keep your eye out for them. Keep an open heart. And until next time, accelerate your prosperity. Pete Bissonette back again. Paul mentioned paraliminals. They are truly a unique way of getting your non-conscious mind aligned with your goals. They help you learn new strategies for responding to what's going on in your world. That's where our name comes from, learning strategies. You're learning new inner mind strategies to accelerate your prosperity and to help you where you may have issues, resistance, or blocks. They're very easy to use. Simply select a paraliminal session, put on headphones, press play, close your eyes, and relax. Paul will guide you every step of the way. Most are only about 20 minutes, which means they do not take a lot of time. And you should notice something happening within the first 24 hours. Sometimes the initial results will be subtle, sometimes dramatic. It doesn't matter because the capabilities of your inner mind, your non-conscious mind, have been set in motion. One paraliminal Paul mentioned, for example, is the 10-minute supercharger. I love it because it's better than caffeine. When you need a boost, simply take a 10-minute break, press play, and close your eyes. It's also a great way to reset after work and before dinner. It helps drain stress, it clears your mind, and it readies you for what comes next. If I'm not fully recharged after 10 minutes, I am within 10 minutes after that. If you are all ready to go on to the second episode, which is Abundant Money Mindset, and if you have the 10-minute supercharger already, use it before going on. And if you don't have it, you are always able to order it right here and have immediate access through your online digital library. Of course, you can choose CDs, which we will ship to your home. Now, deep relaxation is about three times longer than the 10-minute supercharger, and it gives you a chance to thoroughly and completely relax. It sends waves of relaxation through your body, and it's wonderful before bed. It's superb when you have 30 minutes for a virtual vacation. Paul mentioned two other paraliminals, too. Fresh Start, co-created with Bill Harris of Centerpoint Research Institute, is ideal at the beginning of a project and whenever something goes wrong because it helps you realize that each moment holds great potential and possibility. Bill is the creator of Holosync technology, which is embedded into each paraliminal. It creates the electrical brainwave patterns of many desirable states. These states include deep meditation, increased creativity, focus and concentration, and accelerated learning ability. Using Holosync creates new neural pathways between the left and right brain hemispheres, balancing the brain, enhancing mental emotional health, improving mental functioning and self-awareness, and healing unresolved emotional problems. Holosync is part of the secret sauce of the paraliminals. Success Built to Last, co-created with Stuart Emery, is one of my favorites because on a deep non-conscious level, it helps you become enduringly successful. Not just a flash in the pan, but success year after year. It works because it helps align your thoughts and actions with what gives your life meaning. You make your dreams and achievements real and lasting. If you don't have the paraliminals yet, you're always welcome to purchase them individually. They're $29.95 each, or when you buy three, you can get a fourth for free. That's a 25% savings. Of course, you're welcome to purchase the Ultimate U Library of Paraliminals. It includes titles such as Prosperity, Financial Security, Living the Law of Attraction, Peak Performance, Talking to Win, Get Around to It, Anxiety Free. There are over 50 in the library, and that's by far the best deal. It's like getting well over two dozen free. There's a link with more information on this webpage. In the next episode of Prosperity Accelerator, you'll learn how to squash a poverty consciousness of lack and replace it with a prosperity consciousness of possibility and opportunity. It is about writing a new ending to your own story about wealth, breaking out of a mindset that keeps you locked in the past, and karate chopping yourself to a mindset of maximum potential. This will accelerate the success you enjoy right now. You'll receive great coaching and do a couple of Paul's relaxing drop-ins to help you develop an abundant money mindset. By all means, take notes and do the drop-ins. Don't just listen to Paul. Get actively involved in learning, in your transformation, in accelerating your prosperity. And again, if you thought of family or friends who should know about this amazing series, tell them to go to www.yourprosperityaccelerator.com. That's yourprosperityaccelerator.com. Thank you for being here today. And please commit to yourself that you'll watch the next session titled 
abundant money mindset. Whether you do it right now or a bit later, it will give you a clear path to accelerate your prosperity.